Welcome to a special quick Nintendo Switch q and I pretty much asked on Twitter and in my trailer reaction video for questions. I don't have too many questions just because like, I just posted a video. I've got to record this video ASAP. Um, but I'm just going to start off with maybe you might be thinking, Snuff, why are you a little bit negative on the Switch? Well, I've said that I'm... You know, I'm a home console gamer. That's just where I'm at as a gamer. I'm not really a handheld sort of a guy. That's just not where I'm at. And what I saw there was basically what the rumours were saying, like what Eurogame was saying and what Emily Rogers was saying. Um, and I just didn't see that much of a benefit for somebody like myself that is just a home console gamer and wouldn't really take their games out on the go because I wouldn't be taking the Switch out on the go. And my concerns are is that how comfortable are the two detachable controllers are when you put them together with that accessory. Would that be comfortable to play? Um, would that, you know, be, you know, I don't know. Just, that's just my concern is that they wouldn't be comfortable to play. Um, and you've also got the new um, Pro Controller you got the analog sticks which aren't aligned. I've just got my fears about that because I haven't used a, con a controller like that before. I've always used a controller where the two analog sticks are aligned. So that's why I was a little bit negative. But will I be picking up the Switch? More than likely, depending on the price. We still don't know how much it will cost. But seeing that, you know, seeing Breath of the Wild run on the TV screen, it looks really, really good really did um seeing the next platoon game i would just be picking up um the new system just for that splatoon game we still don't know if that is a new splatoon game or not but i think it is just like that new 3d mario game that looked really really good so i'm all about the games that's just where i'm at so i definitely will be picking up the system for those games but i still have my concerns about whether i will enjoy the system um, I was like this with the Wii U. I was a little bit negative on the Wii U, believe it or not, at first. But I went on to enjoy the system. So maybe the same thing could happen with the Switch, where I'm a little bit pessimistic now. But maybe I could go on to enjoy the system. But just wanted to explain my thought process behind my uh, reaction video earlier today. I'm just more of a home console gamer. I'm just not sure whether the Switch really adds anything new for somebody like myself that won't be taking the switch on the move i think the concept is cool but would that would i take advantage would i take advantage of it and i probably wouldn't so the first question comes in from hunting noobs on twitter do the inter interchangeable parts concern you with durability that is yeah i, I think it does but this is nintendo and Nintendo's controllers and their systems always work for a long period of time. It's like the Wii. Like, that was starting to break down at the end of its life cycle. My Wii U is working fine. My Wii U gamepad's fine at the moment. I've never had a Nintendo system break down on me at the moment, touch wood. Um, so, yeah, Nintendo are typically known for making reliable hardware. But I can understand where you might be concerned about the um, interchangeable parts just because maybe after a certain period of time maybe because you're constant constantly like putting it in the dock or the, attaching it to the tablet maybe it might get damaged but there's a concern there but like I said this is Nintendo they are very reliable when it comes to their hardware so the next question comes in from Muck Sherlock's do you think the third party support will be limited to mobile type releases or actual console games? Just doesn't seem powerful. Well, we saw Breath of the Wild, which looked better than the Wii U version, in my opinion. Um, I think we saw Skyrim, didn't we? Um, and that looked pretty good. But I definitely share your concerns. My fear is that, I've said this before, by the way, I said this in the video earlier this week, that third party developers, they will see that people like are playing smartphone games, people are interested in handheld gaming and they will make games basically for the bit on the go and they'll just ne neglect the bit on the console even though it's pretty much the same thing. Um, I'm, I'm just fearing that 
we won't be seeing that many console games, but I guess we'll just have to wait until the reveal itself. But I definitely do share your concerns, but the 3D Mario game looks like a console game. Um, the, the new Splatoon game looks like a new game. That Mario Kart game, I hope it is not just a port of Mario Kart 8. That will disappoint me. I hope it is a brand new Mario Kart game. Or maybe they're just using that to show off the concept like, of what you could do with the Switch. Um, but, yeah, that concerns me. Like, how many ports would there be? Hopefully that, is, is, that isn't a Splatoon port as well. Um, the last question comes in from Mark Porch. As far as I can tell, there are two devices I've read an article that has said that the console port uses a new flash memory and you take it out and put it into the portable bit. What's your thinking? Um, I don't think that is what it is just because the trailer didn't really show that off. What the trailer showed was the tablet being on the dock and then you taking the tablet, you taking the interchangeable parts, attaching it to the tablet and then taking it out on the move. Um, but yeah, I don't think that is true. Um, so that concludes this special Nintendo NX Q and A. I'm just going to check to see if I've got any more questions. Um, you probably might have just heard me just clicking my home button on this very old phone. Apologies that you heard that. Um, so you're going to hear a little notification sound. Probably I'm just checking my emails. Um, yeah, let's just see. I've, I think I've got quite a bit. Uh, to get through um, so let's just see if we've got any more questions to answer but yeah that's just where I was at um, in terms of the switch reveal I know I wasn't as excited as I was earlier today but like I said I probably will still pick up the system for the games it's just that the hardware um, I'm just not fully excited about it if I'm being completely honest but if you're excited about it then you know what I think you're very much, you know, entitled to because I think the concept is good. Like I said earlier, I'm just not sure whether I would take advantage of that. So the next question comes in from Michael Scott. Do you think that the dock does anything besides act as a stand and charger? Well, I did cover this in a... I'm not sure when I'm going to upload this Q&A video, by the way, because I did actually start recording this video yesterday finishing recording it today just to wait for more questions and plus I just wanted a bit of a break to honestly I was kind of a little bit burnt out from making videos but yeah I'm going to talk about what Nintendo had to say about what the dock does in a um, roundup video for the Switch um, so I'm not sure if that video might have been posted before this Q&A video but pretty much Nintendo have said that the dock will not be like a graphical upgrade for the um, system it would just work as a output device but the fear that I've got is that maybe the system won't take full advantage of the hardware power when it's out on the move so the hardware within the tablet like device because apparently there isn't any sort of hardware like GPU or any CPU inside the dock it's all in the put bit on the go the tablet bit um, so maybe when you're out on the go to save on battery life and to stop it from overheating, then maybe it won't take full advantage of the um, bit on the go bit bit on the the bit on the go won't take advantage of the hardware when you're out on the move. But when you're plugging plugging it into into the dock, maybe because it's getting a continuous power supply, then maybe then it will take full advantage of the hardware so yeah there's still question marks on whether the dock will provide a graphical upgrade or not but from the sounds of it it won't be and that's just a fear that I've got and it's just a theory at this moment in time and um, we still need to know more details about that so the next question comes in from derpy dude on twitter do you think it will be as powerful, if not near the power, of the PS4 Pro or Project Scorpio just by looking at how small it is? I don't think the Switch will be anywhere near to the PS4 Pro and the Xbox Scorpio. There are question marks on whether the Switch will be as powerful as the Xbox One and the PS4. I really do hope the console side of the system provides 
1080p 60 fps native gaming and that would just be enough for me just because i'm not planning on picking up a 4k tv for at least a couple of years so yeah for me i, I want to see a you know the console doing 1080p 60 fps native there but there are rumors knocking about that it will not be as powerful as the xbox one we still don't know official information yet but I don't think it will be anywhere near to the PS4 Pro and the Xbox Scorpio. And because of how small the tablet is, like I think the tablet screen will be 720p. That's the rumours that is currently knocking about. I'm sure some people are disappointed by it not being 1080p. But you got to think about it like you're condensing a big TV screen image to a tablet-like device. Um, to like a smaller screen so it's going to look good in 720p um, so my questions are like in terms of the frame rate for the tablet like device not like in terms of how good it would look but yeah my concerns are is that the console side of things won't be doing 1080p 60fps native there so my question marks is whether you know would it be that much of a leap from the Wii U um, I really hope it is, but looking at Breath of the Wild in the trailer, it did look really, really good, but yeah, that's just my hopes, is that it will do 1080p 60fps natively, and I guess my concern at this moment in time is what would I lose, like, in terms of the console side of things from the Wii U, because obviously we won't be having second screen gaming from what it looks like, so we won't be able to, uh, for RPGs, use the tablet like device for a map because it has to be docked to output it to the tv screen um so that technology doesn't seem like it is present for this switch and i'm just fearing that there won't be any sort of gyro aiming at all so because i'm going to be using it as a straight up console um you know that's i, I kind of think oh will the portability side of things limit the um Limit the console side of things in terms of how much power it will have. But yeah, Breath of the Wild did look good. The new Mario game did look good. This Splatoon game looked good with the new animations. Definitely looked more crisper. Um, so there's definitely an improvement there. I just question how big the improvement improvement will be, and I guess we won't find out until next year. So. That concludes this video. I might go more in depth in terms of my concerns about the Switch. Um, just to explain my thoughts a little bit more. But yeah, that concludes this Q&A. If you want to ask me any more questions about the Switch, then leave your questions in the comment section below. I know I didn't answer a question from Dirk Shelvis and Lucas Arnold in terms of the NX's launch games. Um, so... Um, I don't know whether I will actually include those questions in another video or not. So I might actually do that because we, we still don't really know about the launch game. So I've got at least two questions for the next q and I've got three questions actually because I think Dirk Shelvis asked me some more general questions. But I might make it a Nintendo... Um, I was going to say Nintendo Shuffle specific. It's not called a Shuffle. That's flipping iPod. It's called Nintendo Switch. I might make it a specific Switch Q and A again in case, like, if if I have got loads of Switch questions, then I might just do that. But yeah, I probably will answer Dirk Shelfis's question, that like, general question, anyway, just because he did and ask me that quite a while ago now, and it's about time that I answered it. So. That's going to be it for this Q&A. Hopefully you have enjoyed it and apologies that there has been a delay in this Q&A. So yeah, hopefully you can understand that. Kind of a little bit burnt out a little bit because I have been trying to make as many videos as possible covering the Switch. So that's it for this video and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.